Hey everyone, Sarah here with SewingPartsOnline.com and today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to properly care for your bobbin case. This is a Singer Apollo bobbin case. It works with top loading machines and it fits a class 66 bobbin. It seems obvious, but you must always use the correct bobbin for your machine in your bobbin case, which can be confusing because a lot of them look very similar. Although a similarly sized bobbin will fit in the case, like a class 15, it will create terrible stitches and you could completely ruin your bobbin case. If you're not sure which bobbin your machine uses, go to our site and search for the make and model of your machine. We'll help you find the right bobbin. In addition to using the correct bobbin, make sure to use the right needle size for the fabric you're sewing. For instance, if you use a size 80 needle to sew leather, you're gonna bend your needle and it's gonna poke holes all over your bobbin case. Any kind of nick or scratch will negatively impact your stitch formation and will require a whole new bobbin case. If you're not sure what needle size to use, go to our website and download our needle chart. The link is in the description below. Now, to have your bobbin case last as long as possible, you wanna make sure to regularly remove any lint or dust that builds up on it. Make sure you are oiling the bobbin case right here along the plastic and the metal. The metal front loading bobbin cases are oiled on the hook where the hook touches metal. Remember, you only need a drop. And turn your hand wheel to disperse the oil evenly. Speaking of oiling, protect your investment and have your machine fully serviced by a professional once every six months if you sew daily or otherwise once a year is good enough. Moving on. Do you see this little screw here? This screw adjusts the tension of your bobbin thread. Generally speaking, the factory set tension works fine for most sewing and you don't ever have to mess with this. But if you are using a particularly heavy thread like an industrial bonded nylon thread or even a very thin thread, you'll likely have to adjust the bobbin tension. For thick thread, you'll want to slightly loosen the screw. For thin thread, you'll want to slightly tighten the screw. Only adjust the screw in very small increments. For instance, a quarter turn is a lot. Again, you only need to worry about the bobbin tension if the factory set bobbin tension isn't creating a balanced stitch. As long as you take good care of your bobbin case, it will perform well. However, eventually it will cease to sew smoothly and it will have to be replaced. Sometimes people think that they only need to replace certain parts of the bobbin case, like the tension spring or the tension screw, but really that's more trouble than it's worth because the rest of the bobbin case is worn. The same goes for metal bobbin cases. You don't want to just replace the tension screw or just replace this metal plate. Do yourself a favor and buy a whole new case. They're very inexpensive. See, over time, the repetitive spinning of your bobbin grinds down the inside of the case, causing it to fit poorly. In addition, the bobbin case cutout will also get worn down, causing it to move back and forth sloppily inside the assembly. You'll have a more enjoyable sewing experience if you just get a brand new bobbin case at the first sign of wear and tear. Now, if you need a new bobbin case, or if you need bobbins, or if you need just help figuring out what of which you have, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com. If you wanna come and hang out with our sewing community, visit us at Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere. Be sure to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe for next week's sewing video.